They've said things during the campaign, uh, and now we need to look at uh, proof in the pudding. Even before becoming president and vice president-elect, Barack Obama and Joe Biden made it clear that the Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Seaway, would be a big part of the future. They issued a restoration plan that included things like moving forward with the Great Lakes Compact, a zero tolerance for invasive species, funding, and even hiring a czar to oversee it all. Local groups say the only problem is making sure it all happens through the transition. We certainly will be encouraging the new administration to think about um, appointing administrators who have a lot of experience on Great Lakes issues and also understand the need to really protect this um, freshwater resource. And that's where communication comes in. Banging the drum on things like emails and letters, even phone calls and face-to-face -face meetings are going to be key. If we just as environmental groups continue reminding the new administration that um, an investment in environmental restoration is also an economic investment. For every one dollar put into restoration of the Great Lakes, the area will receive at least two dollars back in economic development and new jobs. One major advantage to all this, Obama is from Chicago. He's lived by the shore of Lake Michigan for 20 years. Because he's seeing it day in and day out, and he's living it, it's a great opportunity for us to make sure those issues are on the forefront, uh, remind them of them as he uh, moves to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Along with the Great Lakes Compact, local groups are keeping a close eye on any changes to the International Joint Commission as it relates to levels and flows of the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence. In Jefferson County, Brian Dwyer, News 10 Now.